Ladies and gentlemen, grasshoppers of all ages, I stand before you with yet another fresh list of injuries, compliments of the Montreal Canadiens. Yes, yes, you can't even look at this jersey anymore without feeling your bones beginning to disintegrate. And just yesterday at practice, there was some more names that were added to the missing persons list. So let's dive right in here and see who I'm talking about. Starting things off with poor old Alex Belzea, man. Couldn't you just leave him alone? Jeez. And this one sucks because he's been uh, he's been a bit of a bright spot for the Canadians late in this season. Belzio's one of these veterans that just worked his nuts to the bone to finally get a chance to jump into some NHL action. And well, now he's not going to be jumping anytime soon because he's out with a fractured leg. Oh, oh, that sucks. And while yesterday this one did come off as a bit of a surprise, this next injury update was not a shocker at all, okay? It was about Sean Monaghan, and apparently he's going to miss the remainder of the season as well due to needing an operation on his groin. Wow, lovely. That sounds like a fun time. But I mean, in all honesty, nobody was really expecting Monaghan back anyway. Now, there was also some more players that's been missing from practice lately. The team announced just yesterday that Raphael Harvey Bedard, he's been out dealing with some minor bumps and bruises. Jake Allen was out because he was having a, a Jake Allen day. And Jordan Harris, he was missing as well. And I've got a suspicion that we might not see him play in tonight's game due to the Canadians calling up Corey Schweinmeister from the Laval Rocket. It's crazy, cause man, these injuries just keep piling and piling up. I'm gonna bring up the entire list as it stands right now, and I don't know about you guys, but I'd rather watch this lineup of injured players then, well, the lineup that we're going to be seeing tonight. I really would. I've got Kirby Dak between Cole Caulfield and Yuri Slavkovsky. Uh, we do know that Caulfield and Slavkovsky are going to be out for the remainder of the season, but I'm just not sure about Dak yet. As for line number two, we got Sean Monaghan between Josh Anderson and the Bermuda Triangle. Then we got Christian Dvorak centering freshly injured Alex Belzeal. Gooley and Savard are rocking the top defense pairing. And Arbor Jackeye is paired up with Jordan Harris, who's pretty much a maybe right now. And look, I know there was a lot of injuries last season as well. There's always been a lot of injuries, but this season seems to be... <laughs> a little more alarming to me than others. I mean, I understand a lot of them and I don't really have a problem with the majority of them, but I do think that at some point this summer, the whole medical staff needs to be put under a microscope from top to bottom, man. Because a few of these have been shady. Look at Sean Monaghan, for example. They let the guy play injured for a while, which only made things worse. Then he rushed back to practice a few too many times, and now look at him. Poor guy's sitting on his back, probably looking at his nuts on a table while his gooch is getting operated on. There's been a few too many stories like this this season, and uh, Caden Gooley, he's another guy. His recent injuries were a little strange as well. Now, I know the players themselves, they get to blame for some of this as well, but still, the Habs medical team should be on the hot seat right now because some of these guys are getting a little outdated. Let's take a look. <sighs> Montreal Canadiens medical chief. <gasps> yes, of course, I should have known. Prince Philip. So let's hope these guys are all back and they're in good shape next season. Let me know down in the comment section what you think about all this. Don't forget to slap the like button on the way out of here. And hey, I'll see you next time.